Hey guys, welcome back to Nerds and Nutrition and welcome to this channel if you're new. My name is Leslie and I want to welcome you guys to another Water Kefir video today. Before we get into that, I just want to thank you for yet again being patient while I was MIA this last month and it feels so good to be back. Now, I cannot tell you how many requests I had gotten for another water kefir video. The uh, video that I had done several months ago got some really great feedback, and a couple of you had even reached out to me to let me know that you tried to make your own water kefir yourself. So, high five, guys. Awesome. So with today's video, I thought that it would be appropriate for me to show you how to actually activate or rehydrate your water kefir grains. Unfortunately, my water kefir grains bit the dust whenever I moved here to my apartment. They had accidentally been left behind and it had been simply too long since they had been fed with fresh sugar water. So I went to Cultures for Health online. I purchased some new water kefir grains. They came in this absolutely beautiful box here, if you can see it without the glare. And yes, they do make it very easy. Chances are, if you purchase water kefir grains online, they will come to you in a dehydrated state, which you can see they're just in a little tiny package here. If you happen to know someone that is currently making their own water kefir, chances are their grains have been multiplying and they will be more than happy to give you some fresh, ready to go grains. So ask around, you never know who you may know that's making their own water kefir. Otherwise, if you need to order them, never fear. Let's go through the process of how to activate these babies so you can be on your way to making fresh water kefir. In order to activate your dehydrated water kefir grains, you will first need to dissolve a quarter cup of organic sugar in one half cup of hot water. I personally like to use the Sugar in the Raw Turbinado Cane Sugar. This has always given me great results. Make sure the sugar dissolves in the hot water before adding room temperature water to bring the mixture down to room temperature. At this point, you don't want to add your water kefir grains because the hot water can damage them if not kill them. So you do want to make sure that this mixture is as close to room temperature as possible before adding your water kefir grains. At this point, you'll want to add two and a half to three and a half cups of room temperature water. And give it another swirl to make sure that this is at room temperature. Add your dehydrated water kefir grains to the cooled sugar water. Give the jar another swirl to make sure all the water kefir grains have been covered in the sugar water. And it is normal for them to rest at the bottom of the jar. You'll want to cover the jar with either a coffee filter or some kind of similar breathable cloth with a rubber band and this will allow the gases that are produced to naturally escape without building pressure inside the jar and it will also keep curious critters out of your jar. You want to place your jar in a warm spot in your home for three to four days while the water kefir grains rehydrate. After three to four days, the kefir grains should be nice and plump and translucent, meaning they are ready to start producing water kefir. It is now day three, and as you can see, the water kefir grains have plumped up. They are now translucent, and after I strain these grains, you'll be able to see that much better. You simply strain the grains using a plastic mesh strainer. Again, it is very important to not use any metal utensils as that can leach into the water kefir and we don't want that. So you strain out your grains and just pitch this sugar water. After adding your strained water kefir grains to a new batch of sugar water, you then place the jar back in a warm place for 24 to 48 hours. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thanks again for tuning in to Nerds and Nutrition. I hope that you got something from today's video, and I surely hope that you decide to try making water kefir at home. 
Let me know in the comments down below if you do decide to try it, if you have any questions about the process, or if you maybe just need help troubleshooting, I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Do be on the lookout for more water kefir videos in the future. I will show you guys how to flavor your kefir during a second fermentation, and that, my friends, is where the real fun begins. All right, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more nerds and nutrition in the future. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Take care of yourselves, and remember, we are changing culture one plate at a time.